I thought it was um, a good idea to do a little catch up before going away to Quest Regionals this weekend. So um, I've been a bit quiet recently. I've had my operation. Uh, that was a few weeks ago. Um, still sort of recovering slightly from that. It's going to be a bit of an ongoing process. But anyway, um, I'm getting there and I'm ready to sort of get out a bit more now with Elf and start doing some things again. So timing's quite good for the Quest uh, regionals. Um, so yeah, travelling on Saturday and um, staying overnight and the actual competition is on Sunday. So I've booked a stable overnight. Um, my, my dressage time actually isn't until about midday, which is really nice. I'm not an early morning person. So um, yeah, I definitely function better a bit later on in the day. So that's good for me. And um, Elf also isn't a particularly morning horse. I wouldn't, you know, it's just not in our routine to be up and out really early. So um, yeah, uh, my friend Sophie is coming with me. I'm leaving my uh, husband to look after the horses at home so uh, I'm sure he'll do a great job and um, I've got a couple of friends on standby if there's any problems so uh, yeah I've been uh, really lucky that one of my friends has started letting me borrow her arena so I've been boxing him out a couple of times a week to go and ride with her so it's working really well because it gives her an incentive to ride a bit more because she doesn't really like riding by herself um, I also don't like riding by myself so it's really good I can box over there it's only 10 minutes up the road and um, you know we can we can uh, practice our tests in her arena um, and she's very she's very um, good at calling tests for me as well so um, yeah it's really nice I've ha actually been able to practice my tests a bit more because I really struggle with that usually and earlier in the season with Quest when my um, field here was just so hard um, I couldn't really ride in it at all and it was just always a struggle to try and remember the tests because when you only get one chance a week um, and my lesson is usually on a Tuesday. By the time you get to Saturday, Sunday, you know, I can't remember what we've done in the, in the lesson in terms of remembering the patterns of the test. And I really struggle with remembering tests anyway. So, um, but this time, because I've had an opportunity to run through the test, you know, three or four times now, um, it's really helped. So I'm hopeful I can just do it without a cooler and remember it. And uh, yeah, I'll run through with Amber yesterday um, in my lesson went pretty well a um, couple of little errors but yeah generally it was quite good so yeah I'm feeling relatively positive about going to the quest regionals uh, I don't think we're going to get an amazing score because I know there's going to be some issues with the contact still and he does hollow slightly in some of the transitions particularly the downward transitions and there's a couple of counter trot counter across the diagonal um so yeah you know our leads are getting better so generally the counter leads are a bit more consistent than they were but there's still a bit of work to do on that and we do still get the odd one and especially if his attention wanders if you know there's something to speak at in a corner or whatever or look at then sometimes it's um that's when we get the wrong lead changes happen so hopefully because we're staying overnight he'll be a bit more settled I'm not sure if there's an arena familiarisation session or not on Saturday. Um, but anyway, just the fact he stayed overnight, hopefully he'll be more settled about the whole thing. So we'll see how it goes. So, yeah, Elfie, what's happened here? What What's happened here? Hmm? Why is this sideways on the muck heap? Hmm? I mean, honestly, only my horses could do this. Not quite sure how they've even managed to do that. <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna be interesting to get off. Oh. Just walking down the hill to go and get Elf. Uh, Sophie's just turned up. We've got all of our stuff in the lorry and um, all of his stuff is ready to go. Um, some of it has to go in the partition the other side after I load him. So uh, yeah, just gonna grab him, pop him in the lorry 
and uh, get the rest of the stuff in and then get on the road. Um, I had a really good lesson with Philip yesterday, which I was really pleased with. And um, Philip, um, he's Ilphobio's breeder from Spain. So he's a really amazing trainer. And um, I did a Pivo lesson with him. So um, yeah, I'm feeling actually quite good about the test. After that, um, you know, we had a really, really good lesson and I felt, yeah, like we'd really improved a lot. So, um, yeah, let's see how it goes tomorrow. Um, I think the forecast is rain all day, which is a bit of a shame. So it might not be a particularly nice, um, a nice test environment from that point of view, but we can't control the weather. So yeah, and everyone will be in the same boat if it's gonna rain all day. So yeah, at least my horses live out and are quite used to bad weather. They always choose to be as far away as possible when you are in a rush to get somewhere. And there they all are. So we've um, had a pretty good journey so far and we've gone, well we're just near Yeovil now so we've only got about half an hour to go. So yeah, he's travelling really really nicely in the back, just tucking into his hay net happily enough. So um, yeah. To getting there, unloading, getting his stable sorted, and give him his tea, and then yeah, go out for our tea meal tonight, which I'm looking forward to. So Elfie is in his nice stable and we've gone to check him because we've been out for a nice meal tonight with everybody which was really fun and um, now we are in the lorry so Sophie's in her bit over there hopefully you can see that and um, I'm completely blind without my contact lenses so I can't even see oh, I can see there um, <laughs> so yes and I'm in the back with the ramp and the partition so yeah it's, um, it's actually really quite warm, so I think we'll be fine tonight. It was it's meant to be raining loads tomorrow, but it's um, it seems quite nice tonight, which is good. So hopefully we shall get a good night's sleep. We're going straight over. So we are just in the arena walk now because. Um, you get a chance to have a little ride around in the arena and, um, early in the morning before the competition starts. So we're just showing him where all the banners and things are and just the flower pots and all the scary stuff. And um, hopefully he'll uh, then not find it too scary later on when we do the test. So um, yes, he's being quite good at the moment, bless him. There's, there's quite a lot to see. We'll get Sophie to do a little video in a second showing everything. Good boy. Yes, I know. There's some scary sandbags there. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, there is quite a lot for them to look at. So we've got these um, very beautiful flower pots here, but he's actually been really good with these so far and he's not particularly bothered. Are you? Not bothered? Can you have another look at the flowers? Yeah? You're not bothered by the flowers, are you? Well, flowers are fine. Um, yeah, and then there's a few things like some sandbags piled up in one corner outside the arena and some sort of rails and gates and stuff, so you can just have a little look at those, but nothing, nothing too bad. So, um, yeah, we're just going to carry on walking around for a few minutes and just get him even more relaxed and hopefully he's not really going to be bothered when we come in later. Doesn't seem, doesn't seem bothered too much now, which is good. <laughs> We're just doing some muffin out now, so he's had his arena walk and um, yeah, he's getting rid of all the monkey shavings. And uh, he seems really chilled out in his stable, which is nice. So he's got his little friend next door who's one of my teammates' horses, and they seem to be getting on well. So uh, yeah, hopefully he's going to be really good in the test because he was very good for the arena walk. So really hopeful he'll be nice and relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> so 
so it's pretty cool here there's a really nice viewing gallery so you can um, sit and have some food and then there's a really nice um, cafe area here as well so Sophie and I have just had a really nice bacon roll and then um, that's the kitchen there so yeah it's really nicely set up here and they've even got like charging points so you can charge your battery packs and the phone and which is really great um, and it looks like they've got a jukebox over the other side as well and um, there's a shop for uh, like you know an equestrian shop as well with clothes and stuff so if you forget anything that's pretty handy so just um, passing him up now having a few issues because he has rubbed out so much of his mane um, this is actually better than it was this was like about here when I went to IPS and I had to use some bits of um, fake plat to just kind of fill it out because it was so bald. Um, but yeah, so I've done a running plat for the top part here, which is fine because I like to do the scallop plats. Um, they just stay in really well. But um, yeah, it's just a bit of a shame he's missing so much, but I'm just going to try and do some normal plats for the last few with what little bit of mane that I have. Come on, come on. Um, yeah, that's just about enough to put a really short plat in, so hopefully we'll manage to get a looking half presentable. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, that's it. So, um, also I'm using this um, Smart Grooming Wax. Um, I used this at IPS as well, and I actually managed to leave his plat in overnight because it took me so long to do it with all the extra bits of hair to add in. Um, but actually, they stayed in amazingly with this so um, it's quite good you can just rub it down the flat and um, it does make it really sticky because already has right, got all these horrible loose hairs so uh, when I've finished I'll just run a little bit down the outside and try and stick down all these fuzzy pineapple bits that are sticking out <laughs> Thank you. 
So we've um, finished our test. I've got a nice line from my um, hairnet. Uh, yes, generally I was really pleased with him. He was really much more relaxed than normal and we got some really, really nice work. Um, and he wasn't spooky. He went past all the flower pots and everything really, really happily. So that's really good. Um, just one little bit of confusion in the first counter where he, I think he went to strike off on the wrong lead and then changed one side and went disunited and it was all a bit of a mess to be honest. Um, so that was a little bit of a shame because um, other than that, I think the test went quite well. So, um, but yes, we're working on our counter work. So yeah, it's just still a work in progress, but the trot and the walk work was much better than usual. So I feel I was good going in the right direction. So yeah, he's a good boy. And that was in there having his hay net. Yeah, you were good, weren't you?
So um, just a little catch up after Chard and the British Dressage Quest Regionals. So I went there with my team from East Dorset Riding Club and um, yeah, I entered the novice test, which was novice 30 and we really enjoyed our weekend away. I have to say it was very nice to go away with everybody else in the team. I think when you go to the normal quest competitions, it's obviously just for a day um, and everybody turns up at different times because their tests are spread out through a morning or afternoon. So you don't necessarily really get to chat to the people in your team very much. And it was really lovely to be able to go out for a meal on the Saturday night with everybody um, because obviously we camped in the horse box and a few other people were camping, uh, were sleeping at hotels and things. So we um, went to a really nice restaurant where one of the, or a couple of the people were staying um, and had a meal there with them. And it was really, really nice to just get to know everybody a bit better. So that was really fun. Um, and Chard is a really lovely venue. I'd really recommend it. Um, a big thank you to them for putting on such a good hosting because the stabling was really high quality and clean and the barns were really solid so even with the rain overnight I wasn't worried about him getting wet or you know things blowing around like you can do sometimes with temporary stabling at places um, and the clubhouse is really lovely to sit in and chill out it was warm because it did rain quite a lot on Sunday morning so it was really cool to be able to have somewhere nice to sit and go and have um, some hot cooked food and a hot drink um, and uh, be able to watch the arenas from there and the surfaces are really good as well I found the surfaces were really nicely maintained and they rode really nicely as well so I definitely enjoyed riding him on that um so yeah big thanks to Chard and I would definitely look at maybe going and doing a dressage camp or something there because um yeah I'd happily go and stay there again um and on to the actual test itself so um there was I felt a bit of pressure because two of the ladies in my team had got really good scores earlier in the morning for their intro and prelim tests and um, I was the third in our team to go. He warmed up really nicely and this particular movement that I was really worried about was this trot, um, it was canter, trot, canter across the diagonal so you change the rein with a sort of trot across X across the diagonal. Um, and it was going really well in the warm up. We tried seven or eight times to do it and he got it every time. Got our cantilever correct, got the amount of trot in the middle to a nice length. Um, and you know, he was just doing it. It was great. Um, then we went in for our test and I felt like the warm up had gone really nicely. And he was ever so good in the test. He rode down the centre line really positively. He didn't back off from the judges box like he has done at some places. Um, and he wasn't really spooky considering there were quite a few people watching and a photographer in the corner and you know, there was a lot to look at. He was really good. He went past all the flowers and things. And um, the first half of the test, I was like, yes, you know, this is going really well. Come on, we can do this. And the first half of our test sheets, because there were two judges, um, so we had from one judge, we got a lot of sevens and some six and a halves um, up to the first half of the test. And then the other judge had us on mostly six and a halves. Um, so, you know, that was good scores really. Um, and, you know, considering we generally drop some scores for contact issues, um, but you know, that's a good score for us for novice. So I was really, really happy and feeling like, yes, this is going amazingly. Um, and then obviously we hit that first corner with the canter and I just don't know what happened. He just didn't go when I asked him to the first time, just kind of got stuck. Um, and then when I put my leg on a bit more, cause I was like, come on, we really need to canter now cause we're out of the corner. Um, then we were trying to canter on a straight line and it, it just completely fell apart. Um, we, he was he was getting disunited and then he was changing legs, doing flying changes. Um, I've never asked him to do a flying change on the flat, so I don't know where that came from. Uh, it was quite amusing, but obviously not what we were wanting at that particular moment in time. So yes, that dropped us quite a few marks, unfortunately, and kind of ruined our score. Um, but, you know, some of the bits of canter we did get sevens for uh, after 
we managed to sort that out. So, you know, I'm not worried because it's just a green glitch and, you know, the counter work for us is very much a work in progress. And I haven't been able to do enough counter work because of not having an arena to use very often. Um, but very kindly, my friend has been letting me use her arena for the last few weeks and it has made a huge difference already. Um, I really feel like our transitions are much rounder and better. Um, so, you know, when we get it right, we're getting some good transitions now. So we can just build on that and um, I feel like it's going in the right direction. So yeah, um, from that point of view, um, yes, it was disappointing about the score and I felt bad for my team that my score wasn't great. But I actually came out of that test at the end and was feeling like, yeah, that actually was probably one of our best tests for the first half of it. Um, and I, it felt like he was really rideable and he was really good. So, you know, it's just one of those things. It's a bit annoying it happened, but that's horses for you, isn't it? Um, and yeah, I think things are definitely going in an upwards direction. So, you know, we'll just keep on with it, keep practicing. Um, so yeah, that's it for sort of the, the team stuff now for me. And I'll be trying to get some unaffiliated competitions in over the winter, maybe try and do some elementaries. Um, I mean, he obviously wants to do advanced medium with his flying changes. So <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, just before I go, a massive thank you to Sophie for coming along and for videoing and helping. Um, she's just great company and we had a really good time. And thank you to my lovely husband, Pete, for looking after the other three horses left at home, Atia, Lulu and Estrella. So he did an admirable job of feeding, poo picking, uh, doing the waters, he even changed rugs, um, including on my, you know, with my yearling. So that's, um, you know, well done to him and thank you very much. And um, a big thank you to everybody else in East Dorset Riding Club in my team for the support and the positivity, especially when I've had my kind of negative moments of like, oh, I'm like the worst in the team and oh, it's not great. Um, but they've always been very supportive and kind, regardless of what scores I've come back with. Um, and also very um, big thank yous to Amber, Philip and to Maddie, the dressage coach, for their help with lessons and things. Because um, obviously it's helped so much having all of that advice. Um, Maddie, the dressage coach, I was actually a bit confused about the give and retake of the reins over X in the trot and how to perform that to get a good score from the judge. Um, so yeah, I talked through that with Maddie and she gave me the advice of how to ride that nicely and we got quite good scores for that from both judges. So that was really helpful, thank you very much. Um, so yeah, so that's where we are. I hope you enjoyed our little trip to Chard and I would highly recommend if you're in the area visiting there if you get a chance to do a competition or anything there. And um, I'll catch up with you all soon. Okay, bye.